Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So in this episode, we're going to buy the wheel loader. This was my intention for quite some time. Chainsaw and me both thought it was a good idea to get a wheel loader. And I looked into it and we did find this pretty big one. Uh, just, where has it gone? Here. £200,000. Now I know quite a few people have said it's not really the best one to go for. There are different ways of doing it. A conveyor belt, for example. I just like... The wheel loader idea, uh, conveyor belts are a bit boring, you've got to keep adjusting them. Um, but yes, I can totally understand where you're coming from with, with the conveyor belt idea. Um, but anyway, yes, as it was the intention for so long, let's just go for it. We do have the money. So, oh, there are different wheel brands as well. Uh, let's just see here. I quite like that one, uh, that looks pretty good. We don't really need to have a license plate. Uh, so I think we could probably go without that. £200,000 and there will be a bucket. The bucket is not expensive, which is <laughs> the good part of this. Uh, yes, it's only £1,400. There we go. 12,500 litres, so it's pretty big. And that is the whole reason for going for this one. Quite a few people are saying it looks like a toy. Haven't seen it myself actually in the game. I've only seen it in the garage. So we'll take a look and we will find out. Oh, and... Uh, to stick with the traditional weather of this map, it is raining. Yes, it's a shame it doesn't have branding, that's the only thing I would say. Um, I suppose the textures are a little flat, but then if it's a new machine, then the textures will look pretty flat because there's no rust or scratches or anything like that. I guess you could make it look different by adding dirt. Uh, maybe it'll look better as we use it. <laughs> uh, probably, it'll probably start to look a bit better. Anyway, let's get this taken back and we can start to load up the trailers because I think in November the price for silage is quite good it should be if I can see over my massive hydraulic rams silage is let's have a look here well we could take you to market stall 342 yeah 342 so it is it's the best price I've already crashed it and there we go right yeah I, I, I don't know I think it probably will look better with age I could add weathering to it immediately with the easy development mod but I probably shouldn't such a big bucket right so let's get our first bucket load the funny thing is this would actually fill some of these standard size trailers incredible and yet it hasn't really made an impact at all on the pile we've got over 300,000 litres here so uh, yeah I'm not too sure if Chainsaw was still in the middle of something or if he's going to get the trailer for us uh, no the trailer is still here so we'll empty the TMR into their trough. The camera's hopefully doing very well. Do they still have water? Let's have a quick look here. Um, they do still have water, and they've got 12,000 litres of milk, which needs to be transferred. Okay, so off we go. Let's take this over to the silage pit, and we'll get it loaded up, and then we'll take it over to the market stall. I don't know if the market stall has a limit, to how much you can take to it. If it does though, fair enough, we'll just take it to the bale sell point. And we are still going with the beet harvest. Oh, <laughs> don't want to be crashing. Ah, it's a habit of mine. Right, okay, let's just go over here. Splendid. Yeah, so uh, as it's raining, it makes the beet harvest a little bit difficult. Although I don't know if you can harvest beet in the rain, can you? Is it different to no, you, you wouldn't do it, I don't think, in real life, but in the game, does it let you... Oh, I was hoping it was a high tip, but it isn't. Yeah, look at that, look at that, that's so good. Right, okay, so probably just a few of these, maybe only three, and we'll be full, ready to sell. As for silage required for the cows, we've actually got bales. We have silage bales, so we don't even need to have uh, any of this loose stuff. This loose stuff is all for selling. And as we're no longer in the crazy silage selling days of FS15, where silage is worth some absolutely bonkers amount, um, <laughs> we'll only be producing a pretty realistic amount from this. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I don't know, was it? I, I, maybe my memory is wrong, but I seem to remember with FS15, you could sell at the best price like a thousand litres of silage for about two or three thousand pounds. Which really is absurd. <laughs> but anyway, I'm happy with 350 if we can get that. Was it 350? Yeah. But even with this big bucket, 
We do still have a big pit there, and that, that big pit is going to take a bit of emptying. Really hope the weather is going to change soon. Let's just check the forecast. Okay, so, oh, that's a depressing sight. About two or three o'clock. Joy. Well, oh well. Oh. Can we harvest bet in the rain? I don't think we can harvest bet in the rain, though. No. <laughs> we can harvest beet, though. Oh, we can! We can! Oh, he's doing it. I should have just looked. Cranky. Although, it would actually still work with a combine harvester in a cereal field. It's just you get a reduced yield. Yeah, but it used to be where you, you couldn't harvest at all. The game wouldn't let you. But now you can in a cereal crop. Uh, it's just it will take a percentage of yield off you. So, Right, okay. Here we go. Look at that. The money is ever so slightly creeping up. But the wheel load will be used for other stuff. Uh, and I'm hoping you can put a pallet fork and stuff like that on it. It will also be brilliant for compacting the pit in the first place. Uh, right, so 16,000 plus 2,000 environmental score award. That's the best price we could get as well. So I'll do a few more, and uh, well, we might empty it, I don't know. I think that is another full load, and we're almost back up at £100,000 again already. It's amazing how quickly we can recover the money. There was a time when getting 100000 was impossible. Like, look at me on my Vintage Survival series. I'm working so hard on there, and, well, struggling and failing to hit 50000 I do keep spending it, but you have to. you got to spend money to make money. Uh, on this series, we've sort of been through that. We've certainly spent money, and we're definitely making money. But it is working, it's definitely working. What we're doing is fine, uh, it's going well. Um, th this time we sort of spend more and then make more, it's just a different range of figures. So that is another 47,000, 47,000 litres going, which is about 18,000 including our bonus. Uh, which I think, yeah, that's pretty good because it doesn't really take much work to get that amount of silage when we just stick it in the pit. If we were doing baling that's slower if it's round bailing. Got to keep stopping with every bale for example. Uh, but there we go. So th there's probably not that many loads left and we do want to keep a little bit which I'm going to put straight into the BGA but after that it will all be the uh, the bales. Basically I'll fill the BGA up with silage and we're not going to put it in the trailer first we'll just put it in the bucket because it's only it's only over there and we can get twelve and a half thousand litres in the bucket so it's pretty good. It's really not too bad. Okay, right. So I'll just park this here again. We will fill it up in a minute. But before we do, let's just oh, look at that. Lots of sweets. Chains 100 has got lots of sweets. Ah, that must be full. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I'll put 86,000 in here. I'll get a fresh bucket load for the BGA. In fact, sorry, not for the BGA. Have I been calling it the BGA? The TMR mixer. I always get those two mixed up. Not as in what they do, just the, the word, the name. Ah, okay, if I've been saying BGA 
ignore me. <laughs> I mean the TMR mixer. It's because you put them into a hopper which looks identical. I have been saying BGA, haven't I? I'm sure I have. Right, okay, well, we've got lots of lettuce to sell as well, but the price for lettuce actually improves in a couple of months, so it's probably not worth selling them today, those pallets. Uh, we've got slightly over the 12,500 litre capacity of the bucket, which I do like. I like that you can go over the capacity. Although, actually, I wish it was even more fluid. I wish you could get maybe 200 litres over. You could totally overload it. So, in it goes. Beep beep. Yeah, right, there's probably uh, a fair bit in there already. Don't know if I should leave this on the ground or if I should go and get some more. I probably shouldn't leave it on the ground. Yeah, we'll put it in if we can do. That cat was just watching me thinking, hmm, what's going on here? I think I'll move. <laughs> uh, I think I would move too if a huge wheel loader like this turned up. Right, so that is full. So the rest of it cannot be sold. As I said, we've got silage bales over here. They were fermenting. I would have thought they'd be fermented by now. Let's just have a quick look. Ah, 98%. So certainly, certainly by the time we need them, they will have fermented. Not much manure. Did they run out of straw or something? Is that, is that what happened? Yeah, they've run out of straw. Fair enough. I'll have to give them some more straw. And uh, that needs spraying. I thought I did it, but apparently not. I, I will definitely get that sprayed. So anyway, let's just finish this first job. Let's go and sell the rest of the silage. And then we'll move on. How much do we actually have left in here? Just over one trailer load. Uh, I think it's... Oh, it might, it might just about fit in the last bucket load, but we'll probably put it in the trailer anyway. The silage pit is empty, so let's sell the rest of this, and uh, well, we can refill it whenever we feel necessary. Um, we will have that grass field ready to cut again probably in a few months, so yeah, could do. We have the forager, we could actually have a different attachment for it, but for now, we'll just put this here. As I said, we can use this to actually pick up other things like containers, even, uh, but we've got another 30,000 litres to sell. So we'll go and get about, what would it be? Uh, maybe 12,000 pounds? I don't know for sure. But already, thanks to the income chainsaws brought in as well, we're back at the amount of money we had at the beginning of the episode. So uh, depending on which way you look at it, the wheel loader was free, but no, it wasn't really free. But yes, it is definitely nice to be back at that bank account figure. So yes, it looks like the sugar beet harvest is going extremely well. Um, it, it was two fields in total, so that has generated quite a lot of beet, which clearly does not fit into the factory, but if we are tipping outside, then, well, it'll only be a small amount, and we now have a big wheel loader, so let's go and check things out. Let's get the update. Okay, right. I'll just catch up with Chainsaw. Yeah, so we will make a pile. Uh, I think the best thing to do is to go into the construction menu, we'll just put a bit more gravel, well, ideally it wants to be um, concrete, but we don't have concrete over the rest of the yard, so we'll just put a bit of gravel down, there we go, and we'll put this on the ground over here, and then we can use our big wheel loader bucket to put it into the production later, so it shouldn't be a big job at all, we can't really continue and finish this harvest unless we do this, so 
it does make sense to do this. Another stump to go just there. In fact, that tree probably should go as well on the corner. But priorities, yes, we, do, we need to get our priorities. And I do still need to do the spraying. But, yeah, if we can just get the harvester going again, that would be great. Ooh, a laggy jackknife. Like one full load of the beet harvester pretty much does fill this trailer. It is quite incredible. Uh, this is a big trailer. It won't quite fill it, but it almost does. So we can set it off on a worker again. As you can see, change from a start of the cultivations. Uh, which crop are we putting in? Not the best weather for drilling, but it's a job that is going to have to be done. I would do the spraying first, as I said. Uh, okay, right, so that explains why it needs cultivating, because we do have direct drills, but that has to be done with a planter. You can also get direct planters, but I don't think ours is a direct planter. Okay, right, so there we go. Uh, yes, I shouldn't have actually transferred. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I just let it turn around and then we'll unload, go back up. Trying to decide if we can get the rest of it in. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't think it would fit. There's quite a lot here. If you condense this into a square, it'd be like the size of a small field, so probably not worth waiting. Let's just go. Yeah, let's just go. We'll come back. Try not to spread it out too much. Uh, that's keeping it fairly well condensed, uh, but <laughs> we've got such a big bucket, it doesn't really matter too much. Also, bread. We've got so many pallets of bread, or crates of bread, and the best price for that is in December, so very soon. Unless, of course, the price is good early, which does happen occasionally, but that's going to be a big money maker. Oh, it's Jackknife Corner. It's like Top Gear, where they have all the names <laughs> on each corner. Coming up to Gambon, that can be Jackknife. Splendid, and I'll just put this here, ready for the grand finale. And I will jump into a tractor which can do the spraying, which is going to be, well, probably the JCB. It's going to be the JCB. Should have plenty of herbicide. So what is our next big purchase? I, I really don't know. Because we're sort of getting to the stage now where we don't have the time to buy more land, which is a shame. Even though this series has been running for nine, no, ten months, pretty much ten months, nine and a half months, uh, it's still got the potential to grow and to expand. But yeah, the end of the series is in about a month's time, possibly on Halloween. So I, I don't know, maybe we should just improve the machines, get more machines, I don't know. Let me know. Comments down below. Right, this will only take a second, we might have another field to do as well, I'm not too sure. So whilst we're here, what we'll do is we'll grab the telehandler and we'll just transfer some bales into their bedding area uh, to, to basically give them some more bedding so we can produce more manure. I think the manure is probably going to be sold, uh, although we might still get that production to produce fertilizer from manure. I know that fertilizer is manure, but it makes, uh, I, well, it's either granular or liquid, liquid fertilizer instead of uh, liquid manure. Okay, hopefully we can take three with the next one, if there is space. I think there is quite a lot of space, and there's tend to be. And there is already a bale over here, which must be outside the trigger, because it would have been accepted otherwise, it would have been uh, consumed. So we'll put that there, hopefully they do get accepted. Okay. What about here? Okay. <laughs> what about in there? 
Well, I know it's here somewhere. Literally, no, yeah, it's actually right inside, okay. Yeah, so we should be able to give them at least three more, probably way more than three. Uh, yeah, we'll give them three more. That, that should totally fulfill it and get very close to... Well, it probably will fulfill it. If not, it will be close. Okay, right. Ah, oh, where do you think you're going? You naughty bale. Well, it could have been worse. It could have gone for a swim. We will be back. So yeah, that will resume the manure production, if we actually want it. Uh, and I don't know, it might also boost their productivity potentially. Unless their productivity was already 100%. But there we go, that's the flying bale at the end there. Ah, oh, it's come out the trigger. How annoying. Only just as well. Right, okay. Oh, it's probably full. It is full. Right, so that is all good. They've got lots of TMR. Brilliant. Um, yeah, nothing else to do there. Chainsaw has done the milk, so perfect. Absolutely perfect. I need to find another job. Well, we'll take this back. I should be able to see on this menu if there is a field which requires chemicals. Uh, that one. Did that one get drilled? No. So no, there is not a field which needs to be sprayed yet, but there will be soon. So I think it looks like the priority now is going to be planting in this big field. And uh, well, the uh, the bread, the bread does need to be loaded up. It's going to be a bit of a painful job because they're all at different angles and stuff. Uh, all right, so what do we have here? Chainsaw with the cultivator. Yeah, I'll just check the price. Once I've put this away. Yeah, we, we might need that tractor again in just a second, but let's just check that bread. So we can't use everything, as I said, that is not for us. That's only for containers, but the store is a better price anyway, so that's brilliant. 3,034. And in December, we should be able to get 3,200 and something, so that's even better. Uh, and yes, you would not want to be doing that with anything other than a forklift, because it's just so tight in there. I think we will prioritise doing this field, though. So if I get the, well, I think probably the JCB. Uh, yes, we'll get the JCB attached to the planter. Oh, outdated data, I do say. <laughs> Excuse me, Roller. So that's going to be a few thousand pounds to get the data required for that. Uh, let's just go and find out. Yeah, I don't actually know if it needs lime because, yeah, as I said, the data is out of date. Which is never good. So I'll just whiz over the entire field first of all and we'll get it in date. there we go so we'll just get that all sent off to the lab and we'll uh, spend a few thousand well, what would it be 1800 pounds probably not as much as 2000 is it seventeen hundred pounds oh too busy looking at the top right uh, so yes, we might need to have some lime. Let's just quickly check pH. Uh, it's not looking too bad at all, actually. It looks very good. This one down here will need to have some lime. Um, but yeah, we'll get straight in with the planter. The sun is out. Hooray. 
Yeah, that's much better. So we're still set to beat. Beat is good, but I think we probably have enough beat. Uh, we need to get the sunflowers. There they are. And, uh, well, it will get through the seed extremely quickly. But I think I'll just make a start, because we do have almost three quarters. Which obviously is pretty good. Okay. Off we go. Yeah, so sunflowers will be used, obviously, for sunflower oil. We've been doing this for quite some time now, and it works. It's very effective. Uh, actually, that's something which we really could do with another planter. I think so. Oop, what have I done? That's all right. It's just it was already fertilized there. Oh no, it was just lifting up. That's weird. Although looking at the minimap, it is actually fertilized. But that could be where the track is. these two are getting on so well we can get the roller going and yeah it's not really necessary as it turns out it's a like 2.5 percent bonus but at the end of the day it is still a 2.5 percent bonus so it depends if you want to go for the effort it is worth it if you don't then you're not losing a huge amount okay i just my example was if you had a hundred thousand pounds income and somebody offered you two thousand five hundred pounds for free would you turn it down. You probably wouldn't. That's what you'd be losing. chance of lost connection at the end there but we are done so we'll get this taken back to the yard and yeah I think that is actually everything done for today so we've sold the silage we have done the spraying the beet harvest has been done and this field has been totally turned around and soil sampled so we now have a crop of sunflowers in it brilliant okay so we'll just put this over here uh, there actually isn't any point in emptying that trailer because <laughs> it's just gonna be dumped on the ground to be picked up again so we might as well just keep it in there and then dump it into the pit, probably before the rest of the pile. Just put it in there. Um, but anyway, yes, we will leave it there. Pop this away. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, see you again. 
very soon. Bye for now.